Coming in, rising moon, November 1st. It's just a wicked combination. We are heading into Big Buckville, and I hope to bring one of them back to the Tulsa. That's for sure. This is the first time I've ever had a Kansas tag and I'm pumped and I really think we're hitting it right. It's November 1st, we get up there, the deer are rocking, everybody's telling us the bucks are bumping the does. We head out that very afternoon that we got there, we loaded up and headed out to a ground blind that Shane and I had set up a couple weeks earlier and the bucks started coming out and started pushing does right off the bat. Man, the first buck in the field that night immediately starts bumping these does. And he's growling and grunting and making all kinds of racket. And that told us that, you know, these bucks, the rut may be close enough that these bucks are willing to fight over these does already. We brought a decoy, we call him James, and the next morning we're gonna set him out and give him a try. We've moved we're about, a mile and a, about two and a half miles from where we were last night. We're in a little cove right here in this timber pocket. Out on the other side of it's a mule tail field. It's about a half mile long. There's an alfalfa on the other side of it. The deer are all out in that alfalfa right now. And as they work their way back in here to bed in this cedar thicket in the swamp area, this nasty timber, hopefully he's going to come dipping right in here to this. Yeah, it's a little spike. I got this year and a half old buck right in front of me. He's checking James out. Finally, he loses interest enough, goes in the woods right here to our right. Immediately, I mean, within a couple of minutes, here comes that same buck bumping a doe and a yearling right out in front of us. They get all fidgety, head off into the woods. I'm wondering what's going on. Here's something, here comes this coyote.
here comes the first buck of the morning, little year and a half old, but you know, putting on a show. Little do we know that was only the beginning because buck after buck after buck come in there and wanted to play with James. So the next morning, conditions are getting better for us. We're gonna go back, we're gonna try the weed field in the morning again. I got a doe tag. See a couple of does filtering in from the wheat field side, but I look over my shoulder and here comes four does. One of them's big old doe, lead doe. I'm gonna take her, I got a doe tag. I like shooting does. She comes up there, <laughs> makes a fatal mistake, and we got our first Kansas deer on the ground. There they are right there in the bottom. It's four does, dude. Or three does. That big lean doe comes in here. She can have my Kansas doe tag. They're coming in here, too. I hit a lamp, didn't I? You still got her. I think I hit the lamp, I can't believe it. Stay on her. Smoked her that down. Mr. at eight yards. Killer at 40. It's one of the big old nanny does. That'll work, gotta get the day started. There's another one. You said shoot a big doe. <laughs> Is that big enough? <laughs> Zapped her. 
Nice shot, Clark. Thank you. There, Kansas Ned. Deer. First Kansas deer right there. It's a good time for the bucks, I know. But I tell you what, I've got a doe tag. The farmer's inundated with does. And I have, I love bow hunting so much, I don't mind shooting a doe one bit. I think it's fun. So every time I got a doe tag, I'm gonna shoot a doe. We leave tomorrow morning. We'll hunt tomorrow morning if I don't pull it off today. This is the last morning here, or second to last morning right here in Kansas. And getting up at 3.30. Whew, where are you man out? Second to the last morning of our Kansas trip. Cannot believe we haven't pulled it off on a good buck yet, but it's foggy, it's misty, the winds have died down, and it's just screaming deer movement. Last morning, our second to last morning. <coughs> Super foggy this morning. We got in here early and we've just been camped out. As soon as the camera's got enough light to see, for you guys to see what's going on, I'm gonna go ahead and rattle. We're, in a, we're back in the big cottonwood stand.
Eh. Watch him go down. Eh. Look at him, he's gonna go down. Go down, boy. There you go. There you go, go down. I had to hold my bow forever. I mean, I drew back when he was right here and it was just bad and just bad and just bad and just bad. Finally. Yeah, I had to let it down when he was scraping right there. And then he's pawed the ground right here. Look at that is still standing right there. She's looking at him. He ain't getting up and chasing you, huh, sweetheart? He's out. He fell on video. Did you get him falling? Oh, yeah. Was you, were, you, were, were you wide right here when I shot him? Yeah. You were wide? Yeah. <coughs> he did the poteed wobble. <laughs> Boom, baby. I told you I wanted to introduce that thunderhead to him. <laughs> Boy, I gave it all to him, too. That is, that is a fine buck for old Oki like myself. Sure made a Made a uh, made a scene when he came in there. He was ready to fight James, and that's exactly what we wanted him to do. Man, he got spread on him. I think he'll wear that KWP bracelet just fine, <laughs> just fine. That is sweet deal right there. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Lord. I gotta get inside, outdoors, huh?